here's something interesting. Along this uh, waterway here, there are roof tiles. These are Japanese roof tiles, and they are no longer being used as tiles on the roof anymore. Now they're being used as uh, basically, uh, you know, a barrier, a little wall to hold back the soil on this uh, elevated farm here. Back again, it's uh, they'll be planting stuff soon. Let's just walk along a little bit, see how far this continues. Here we go, let's zoom in a little. Each of those is a uh, little is a ceramic tile. It's not uncommon for ceramic tiles or ceramic roof uh, tiles to get reused in uh, ways like this in Japan. Sometimes they see them used in pavers for walkways or for uh, uh, used as filling filler or holes and the like. It's about to fall in here. And other decorative elements as well. Wow, it just goes on and on. You can see how they go on. I don't want to keep on going. I'll get too close to this house. But they just go on and on, all the way across. Now, it's not a surprise to me to find these here, because that over there is actually a roof tile factory, right there. Let's go take a look, shall we? Let's go see the, uh, if you're willing to hang out with me for just a little bit longer, we'll walk over there and see the uh, roof tile factory. Let's go for it. So I'm just out for a little walk here. Um, this is a good chance to test the camera out with the uh, wind. The, you know, the, what do you call it, a dead cat? Because the wind is really uh, strong. Oh, there's more roof tiles here. Some different styles, too. Look at that. These are kind of the uh, end pieces right there. I'm using the flat ones that we saw. You can see it from the top. They've got that interlocking, uh, that style allows them to interlock one over another. Whereas these, so that the uh, water won't seep through. I don't see any of the decorative end caps called the Onigawara. I don't see any of those. But there's the factory over there where those women are walking. We'll have to get over there, cross the bridge, and then go across. A uh, dead cat, that's what they're called. The uh, little wind sock that I'm using to uh, protect the microphone from the wind. I hope it's doing its job because the wind is quite windy. Look at the narrow building. <laughs> Look at that. I don't think it's so narrow on the other side. I think that's the back side on this tiny little lot of land. And talk about, I mean, who would think to build a house on a plot of land so narrow as that? There, but there they go. <laughs> very, very narrow. Now we're gonna have to cross, go Josh. Yeah. Have to cross here where the water dumps over here, dumps into the river here. See where it comes in there. And we'll go over here, say hi to these women, and then go across to the side there. Cha, cha. And over here. Oh, so that... There we go. I like to get. I like to film people. These are tenement houses, so to speak. You know, cheap uh, Showa era rentals. And then just behind those is the uh, backside of the factory. You can see they have the molds where they make the roof tiles. There they are. Well, there's the Onigawara. This is the end cap, not a very decorative one. But here are the molds. See concrete molds? And then they would make these roof tiles. There's the tiles and the molds. There we go. And over here, there's the more. These are the, the molds here, and these are the tiles. The blue, in this case, interesting to see. So they put the clay over that and then fire it and make the tiles. There's tip, tip, more typical gray. And then over here. Lots and lots of molds all through here. Lots and lots of them. And then uh, discarded uh, tiles. I don't know if those tiles we saw over there were being used in that way. Oh, here's the end caps. These are discarded probably. And you can see they're decorative on this one side. This is where they would put the family crest. So that's the room for the family crest. So this is, I don't know if it's a blank or something like that. I don't know why it doesn't have a family crest. Maybe they sell them without. But these are just laying here. And there's more down there. Wow, some big ones down there. Look at that. Those are the expensive type. These would go on the very uh, top of the eaves. See that? Very beautiful. Very expensive. I used to uh, get these as antiques and sell them. And here's the factory itself where they make them. Lots of clay dust all over. I imagine they have uh, you know, ovens killed in there. It's kind of a different style right there. Just to think of that. Very interesting.
and then more farmland back there. It just continues on. So there you go, a uh, Japanese uh, roof tile factory. I think I see a chimney over here. Is that a chimney? Yeah, I think so. Chimney back right there. Maybe that's where the kiln. And you can see in the distance Mount Fuji finally. More rats for tiles. Thanks for stopping by to have a look, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.